everybody, I'm Nasty Mold, and today we're going to be checking out our upcoming traveling spirit, the wise grandparent. Now, all the cosmetics I'm wearing are not from him. Uh, he has this cape and this beard. I just put on some extra stuff for fun. Uh, he also comes with a stance, which is the wise stance. Let me put it on. Oh, so thoughtful. And a music sheet. But first up, I'm going to show you where you can find the spirit. So this spirit can be found in the Vault of Knowledge. Uh, we're just going to head towards the right side, and we have this door here. It's not necessarily a two-player door. All you have to do is light both sides, but it is a little finicky, and you may have to run back and forth a couple times. It's a very frustrating door. Eventually, though, the floor will open and we can jump on in. There is a little barrier here. You do need to collect one spirit from the Vault of Knowledge to enter. And then our spirit will be pretty much right in front of us. Oh, they're kind of invisible. A tip here is to fly over this little end part, just because if you walk, you'll see a cutscene. And here is the wise grandparent. Now, reliving it is not super hard. Um, it's just a little long, and there are some crabs in this little maze, so just be careful. Nice! So this should be the last checkpoint for the spirit. All done. We feel wiser. Now I'm going to show you the music sheet that comes with this spirit. It is music sheet 11 and I'm going to use the ocarina just for a little change of pace. It's actually a pretty challenging song. So let's check out the stance this spirit gives you. Uh, so when you stand there, you have your arms behind your back. As you know, every single stance has different sit emotes as well. 
So we have two different sits and one lay down. Let's try them out. This is sit number one. Ooh, so casual, so thoughtful. Sit number two. A hand on chin, but it's actually just in my mouth, it looks like. And sassy grandpa. Oh my god, the lay down. Just crazy. Now we'll take a closer look at all of the emotes of this spirit, starting with the mask. So this mask has a huge beard on it. It's also got a little ornate design on the forehead. And it sort of resembles like the default mask. We've also got the cape. This is my favorite cape from the Season of Belonging. It is so pretty. I love how like white and shiny it is and the way that the gold just reflects. So nice. The subtle little diamond designs on the shoulders. It's so pretty. We'll also take a peek at the inside of the cape. Boop. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty dark here. It's not actually black. Um, I believe it's more of like a gray color. I love the way the gold fringe looks on all the belonging capes. So nice! And I suppose we'll do a little fly around with it, although it's basically like a default cape. Uh, the shape's very similar, so it's nothing really super special. Whee! Alright, let's check out the estimated pricing. So please bear in mind this is all an estimation. It may not be completely true when it comes to the live game but it should be relatively close. To start off, we have the Wise Dance, which you get for free. Connected to that is Music Sheet 11 for 15 candles, and above that is a Blessing for 5 candles. Connected to that is a Heart for 3 candles, and then above that we have a Permanent Wing Buff for 2 Ascended candles, and then we have another Blessing for 5 candles, and then both the Mask and the Cape for 48 and 70 candles. So all in all, this is actually one of our cheaper spirits. We're looking at a pricing of about 0 hearts, 146 candles, and 2 ascended candles. Not too bad. And that is pretty much everything on the wise grandparent. Thanks so much, as always, for watching, you guys. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!